And I got one more for you too. Unbelievable. David on our team uh, was had some clients. They had previously been working with another agent. They decided that they no longer wanted to work with that other agent for whatever reasons they had. They reached out to us. We began working with them. They were under contract on a previous home. That fell out. David found them a property that was originally listed close to 470. And I, before we keep going on, remember the market we're in, right? Right, Where homes sell, Yep. right? Mm -hmm. It was listed at 470. It dropped to 440. And it's not quite those numbers because it was priced at a weird number. Let's not get into that. Right. But it went under contract at 420. My math yep. would say that's about $50,000 less than what the sellers were originally asking for. Yep. And still $20,000 than what they, I'm sure, thought. There's no way that it'll sell any less than that, right? This was in one of the most popular areas of Dallas. Yeah. So that, that's the point we're making. And it, we it, we may sound like we're over the top here, but the reason is we're looking at this every single day here on the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, right? We're helping buyers, multiple buyers and sellers every single day of the year. So we are seeing how hard it is to get this done. We are seeing how absolutely rare it is for a buyer to buy a home below appraisal, below asking price, below anything. The buyers are overpaying left and right. Buyers are coming in 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, $60,000 over asking. And we are helping buyers get homes below market value. Not every single time. I want to be very, very clear about that, right? It's a, it's a big win to get a home right now. Absolutely. It is a big win to get a home under contract period. But with regularity, our buyer's agents, our world-class specialists who only work with buyers, are getting buyers under contract below asking price, below market value, and from time to time, even below appraisal, which is nuts. So what are some of the things that they're doing? We're not going to give away all the secrets, but right. at the very beginning of the show, of the second part of the show, you said we're going to talk about the, the way yep. that we can go about getting some of these wins. Yep. What's some of the stuff that's going on? I, I don't want to attack it from both sides. Right. On the buy side, what's some of the things that's happening? On the sell side, what's some of the things that are happening? And maybe as a team, what's some of the collaborative things that's going on? Well, let me start by saying if 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 you want results like that, head over to overunderagent.com. You fill out a little basic form there, and then we will get you plugged in with a full-time, dedicated, world-class expert real estate specialist on our team. What does that mean? If you're buying we will find the right buyer specialist and have them reach out to you and you can connect with David, Leah, Brandon, Ryan, Mari, whoever the right person is to take great care of you. If you're selling, then we will get you directly connected with Jeremy or John or the right person who is a specialist in your area or your price range or your property type or who might understand your life stage and your goals and your needs right now. All you need to do is go to overunderagent.com, click on the little bubble or the contact us or any place you can submit a form and just give us a little info about your story and we will get you connected with one of those world-class experts. And then along with those experts, you'll get the entire amazing staff over here at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. Now, what are some things that people can do to win? Well, first of all, let me ask you a question, just pretty obvious one here. Which buyer do you think has the best chance of getting their offer accepted? A buyer who decided last night that they want to buy, got in the car today, drove around, called a sign in the yard, uh, and told the seller that they wanted to see the house, uh, got a chance to go see it, and now wants to throw together an offer. That person. Okay. Or a buyer who three weeks ago reached out to a real estate agent, had an hour to two hour Zoom call or in office meeting, asked all their questions, figured out the limitations and desires and goals and clear limitations of what they want to do, spoke with a lender, got a full detailed documented pre-approval letter, spoke with an insurance specialist, got a very clear understanding of their overall budget and needs, and then began to put into works where they would move and when they would move and how they would move. And now that person has seen the same house and is putting together an offer with their team of specialists. Which of those two people do you think is more likely to be successful in this situation? 
The second one seems a little too organized, so I'm going to go with option one. <laughs> and you, sir, are wrong. Yeah, um, it's it's a, it's was a, I close? It's, you were not close. No, it's it's laughable, but it's real. Most people are going with option one, right? Yeah. I, I became emotionally excited about buying a home and I raced out into the battlefield totally unprepared and got murdered, you know, metaphorically ended me. Right. We have multiple people every single week to sign up on our website and want to look at homes on our website and will send us an email saying, I'd like to go see that one, please. Yep. And then we speak to them and realize they haven't done anything yet right. to get prepared for this. Right. And, and I would go so far as to say the consumer doesn't always know that they should. No, I don't think the real do. estate industry has trained buyers for generations to run out and look at houses, run mm -hmm. out and look at, meet me at the house, meet me at an open house, meet me at the house, meet me at a Starbucks and then we'll go look at a house. That is not what's best for you. If you're buying a home ever, I was going to say in this market, but the truth is, We've been meeting with buyers before going to look at houses for 18 plus years now. I spoke with some great people that are now clients of ours that are looking at a new build. And they they simply didn't know whether or not they, they needed an agent to help them yep. through that. And uh, sadly, they were told by the home builder of course. that it was going to be too late for them to add in a realtor to the transaction. Which yeah. Nothing had been signed. It was it right. was not too late whatsoever. Right. And um, and so we ended up meeting with them and, and talking with them, and they're now clients of ours. And right. you know they they realized early on. I don't think this is best for us to do this alone. I think right. we need somebody yep. that's going to really, really uh, advocate for us throughout this entire thing. It's so funny. I use this metaphor a lot, but it actually is a good parallel. It's sort of like getting involved in a huge lawsuit, walking into the courtroom and just being like, oh, I'll use the other side's lawyer. Right. I'll just have the person who's per you know prosecuting me or or is against me, right. I'll just have them help me too. They'll help me too, right? Yeah. Of course the builder's going to tell you you don't need an agent. They they would hate for you to have someone protecting you and advocating you and telling you that that $24,000 granite upgrade is actually a $3,200 expense. So Deal. you could get it done yourself and save $21,000. Um, so anyway, that's just one example. But th the point is you can win big in this market. Yep.